hey hi everyone good morning so today we are going to discuss python interview questions so basically if you're on our channel for the first time let me give a short introduction of ourselves like what we do actually we are in our channel we basically share the real-time interview experiences if you want you can visit our channel and go through the interviews so if uh, that would be helpful for you so uh, without wasting most of our time this time let's okay again so a small request to everyone if you are not yet subscribed please do subscribe our channel to get all the updates so let's begin so first interview question like, what is a python programming language list out its key benefits so python is an object oriented programming language with modules threads exception and automatic memory management some of the benefits of using python are as follows high level language modular object oriented built-in data structure open source so the next question is like java versus python the difference between java and python so the major differences between java and python are as follows so when it comes to coding in java we need to write long code to print something but in python coding is simple and smaller when compared to java so syntax in java we need to put a semicolon at the end of every statement also the code must be placed in curly braces Whereas in Python, indentation is mandatory as it improves the readability of the code. So coming to the dynamic nature, in Java, we need to declare the type for each variable. In this case, like in Python, codes are dynamically typed and this is also known as duck typing. Like ease of use, Java is not easy to use because of its larger coding. In Python, it is very easy to code and perform very easily. Uh, this difference, okay, fine. Uh, database connectivity coming to database connectivity java database connectivity is more popular and used most commonly in python database access layers are weaker than compared to java so these are the differences between java and python like few differences there are many more so the next question what are the built-in types available in python so the built-in types in python are as follows integer complex numbers floating point numbers strings built-in functions next question is how are compile time and runtime code checking done in python so python has a unique way of performing compile time and runtime code checking a small portion checking is carried out during compile time checking but most of the checks such as type name etc are postponed until code execution so if the python code references a user defined function that does not exist the code will compile successfully and the code will fail while the, with an exception only when the code ex execution path references the function which does not exist so unlike java here the checking happens at the execution time this is one of the major differences between java and python again so the next question is like how is python executed so python files are first compiled to bytecode and are then executed by host or type python dot pv at the command line what is a module and package in python so the module is the way to structure a program each python program file is a module which imports other modules like objects and attributes so what is the difference between dot py and dot pyc files dot py files are python source files whereas dot pyc files are compiled bytecode files that is generated by python compiler explain the use of try accept raise and finally so python makes use of try accept and finally box for error handling so if you uh, and if you want to raise an exception particularly then raise come in, comes into the picture so how are instance variables different from class variables so you can halt the video for a second here and you can go through the slide i have given the difference between the variables like instance variables and the class variables here next question is what is the difference between list and tuple in python the difference between tuple and list are as follows list is mutable one of the major differences list is mutable and tuple is not mutable that is immutable that remains constant once you declare it you cannot change it so list is slower in performance whereas tuple is very fast faster than list 
so that syntax i have given for both the things the next question is what is namespace in python in python every name introduced as a place where it, re it resides and can be found this space is known as namespace it, in a, it is an address location where a variable name is mapped to the object placed whenever the variable is searched out this address location will be searched to get the corresponding object explain inheritance in python with an example so i have given the few points about the inheritance in detail you can halt a video for a moment and you can go through all the points here is it valid if a function doesn't have a written statement it is valid at the end of a function is defined by the block of code being executed and not by the any explicit keyword the function will return in none object explain the differences between local and global namespaces local namespaces are created within a function when the function is called global namespaces are created when the program starts when would you lose use a break statement in a for loop the break statement states the function of a loop is over and to move on to the next block of code for example when it when the item being searched is found then there is no need to keep looping the break statement comes into play here and loops terminates and the execution moves on to the next section of the code so here are some few basic uh, coding questions here like given the string hello world print out each character except for the spaces using a for loop so i have given a sample code here you can go through it how to remove values from a python array so i have given uh, a sample code here you can go through it so why do we use the split method in python so basically split method in python is mainly used to separate a given string so given below is the example also so write python code to sort a numerical data set so below is the code here which uh, sorts the data numerical data set so i hope this video was helpful to you please do subscribe for getting catching up all the updates and thank you for watching the video